Welcome back to Young Shipping. We are fresh off a massive 2-0 win by Navi over Newbie into our third best of three series of the day. This one, guys, is for a spot in the grand final and a guaranteed top two finish at our major. We've got Liquid against Secret. Liquid, of course, the reigning TI champions. Secret yet to get that big land title under their belts with this current roster. But the last time these two teams faced off, it was Secret that prevailed at ESL 1 Hamburg. We've also got a special guest here for you on the panel. We got Blitz and Slacks. Hey! Loda. Hello, Yay. buddy. Hey! <laughs> Loda, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Good to see you guys, too. I'm, uh, I'm doing good. I'm actually feeling uh, very healthy and happy to be here with just watching some Dota games and some other stuff as well. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask you, so the carry role, has changed a lot over the last couple of years in Dota. We've gone from safe lane carries always having farm priority to an environment where farm priority is usually given to mid. We're seeing carries rotate earlier. It's much more active play style. Where do you think the carry position is right now? I mean, I, it's hard to say. In the beginning of this uh, patch, I kind of felt like it was a very good carry patch, you know, with Medusa uh, coming back into the game and overall the lanes changing a little bit and these things. Um, but at the moment, I feel like it's it's still half and half. Like it's a boring answer to give, but I feel like th there's two different play styles. Either you play the pure hard carry, he can actually you know carry the game. You can stack a lot, do these things, or you play more like three strong cores. You don't invest too much into this. Uh, personally, I like dual lanes still. Uh, so, so to me, it's it's more beneficial to not invest too much into all lanes and rather focus a bit on two. Do you think as the patch goes on, we're going to see less dual lanes mid in particular? So hard to say, man. <laughs> so hard to say, man. I, I'm like the, the biggest fan of dual mid. I, I feel like, and I know, I know people hate it. <laughs> the reason, I, the biggest issue I see is that you know, dual mid is the kind of lane where there's just two supports standing and harassing the other guy. That's not yep. so interesting. I want to see this, you know, double stun versus double stun mid, maybe a bit haunt style or something. But it's always going to be double mid. You know, you put many of these teams; they have the best player in mid, and. <laughs> It's so hard not to just send a wind to Ivan or send a Bane there, send a whatever. What's your problem, Blitz? It kills my soul. What do you mean? <laughs> Double mid is good. It's like every game, you know, I, I pick some Storm against some DK, and I think it's going to be this one-on-one. Yeah, on one, I know. And I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. And then their, their four position comes, and then yeah. my four position comes, and it's like kind of a deadlock, so then their five position comes, yeah. and my five position comes. I love when it's like a triple lane versus triple lane in mid <laughs> instead, and yeah. In that last game, they did tri lane on tri lane for like three straight minutes, and then they both brought their carries. <laughs> so then it was like seven minutes in, there's just like four on four minutes. Yeah, yeah, but I've, I've been in some games like that actually, and the issue is that, talking about the carry, if you're stuck in that lane, you're so under-leveled as a carry, then you're trying to get back into the game. And in those situations, it's usually the offlaner, uh, in my opinion, that will shine, kind of. All right. It's a party. Everybody likes a party, Nahas. <laughs> let's, let's take a look at this specific matchup, because okay. we got arguably the two hottest Western teams right now in uh, Liquid and Secret. Must you? Hottest. <laughs> oh my God. I'm trying to help. Loda, let me ask you this. As a TI champion yourself, two questions, okay? First of all, what do you think makes Liquid so good? Second, you guys had your own issues after TI. It is hard to reach the pinnacle of a sport and still maintain that motivation. Liquid has done that this season. How have they done it? It's uh, a good question, right? Uh, I think that there's a few different reasons. I think that one of the biggest reasons is that the competition is actually really, really big. And it's, you know, there's a lot of good teams out there. And I think that winning TI, you know that you can still lose games at this point. I think that when we won TI, it was something like you were done and there was not much more to achieve. I think that Liquid, you know, they, they have so much more to, to win. And I saw, you know, right after they won, Kuroki said something about, you know, the next coming tournaments and, and just says a lot about that team. They seem motivated. They haven't let go at all, from what I've seen at least. So it's going to be interesting to see. I have a feeling that Secret is going to get upper hand today. Oh! But, uh, who knows? Now, uh, what do you like no? about what you've seen from Secret? Secret? Uh, well, uh, I love carry players. I think Ace is amazing. <laughs> nice. Honestly, I, I, I mentioned it before when we were out talking, but I think Ace was, to me, one of the strongest carry pickups uh, going into the season. I think that Secret getting him, people didn't really react so much to that, and I think that they will see more and more that he's a really, really 
strong carry. Did you get a chance to see the Lone Druid game yesterday? I did not. Oh, God. I, I wanted to ask you about I've... that. We'll ask Bulldog about that a little bit later. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, but, but the thing about Ace is that he, he has... He can play all the normal carries, but he can actually also play these uh, less uh, normal ones, like Meepo is not so picked at the moment, but he, he's a really, really versatile player. Now, do you mind if I ask a question? I mean, it's uh, it's very rare that we get a successful uh, pro player on the <laughs> panel. Um, What's up, man? <laughs> very rare. Uh, so uh, this is a team, Team Liquid. They've been succeeding a lot, and I have this theory about you know having the target on your back, where it's actually everyone is trying to take you out. Yeah. You've been in that position before. Does that really affect you on the team, or is it more about everybody else? I think it's usually an upper hand when you really? have that feeling that everyone is trying to beat you, mm -hmm. as long as you don't relax. Because, ah. you know, I felt that way at least, that when you, you are controlling the meta and people are trying to counter you all the time, as long as you keep moving forward, you kind of have an upper hand. But at the same time, everyone is, you know, looking at you. And after winning TI, I thought it was hard to keep the same kind of focus and, and you know, momentum. But mm -hmm. if anyone, it's liquid. Wow, see? Now, that's an answer from a real pro player right there, Blitz. Thanks, Lex. Wow. <laughs> I feel like we've, it I feel like we've I, left you out. I, uh, it's because my answer was so good, right? Yeah, it's it was. It was a, yeah. Well, you Thanks. Did, you did. All right. <laughs> wow. Very you, good. You have a little more fire. Now I just feel sad. Right? We're going to have <laughs> more of a chance to talk about these two teams coming up in a minute as we are underway. Let's welcome in Team Liquid and Team Secret. Legends of the game. Two of the four players in professional Dota 2 ever to oh. reach 900 career victories. Former teammates, they shared a stage together competing against the Alliance squad at TI3. Oh. I know, Lodi, you like the outcome of that one in particular? Yeah, kind of, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I feel like, Blitz, we've left you out. What's up? All right. We have Loda here. You can do that. What do you think are going to be the key heroes here? For the series. heroes here. I think, uh, I think the Earth Spirit's been favored by both sides. GH obviously plays a sick one. Uh, I think Wyvern so far has been just absolutely stellar in this tournament as well. But I think it's going to be probably some of those weirder heroes that we see that maybe Ace can play, like the Broodmother that they're willing to pull out. That's still a hero that's quite popular on both sides. I don't think the Meepo so much or anything like that. But it's always nice to have those things under your hand. I know Crow said it too. Like you need to have a player on your team that is willing to play all those weird yeah. heroes. Like these Venos, these Brood Mothers. That's kind of what they got in Matumba Man, right? Before yeah. TI, they had somebody that could play all these weird heroes. Now they also got MC. I mean, recently I feel like he's playing pretty much any hero. Yeah. Oh man. That Brood, brood Mother you're talking about though, I feel like last pick Brood, even putting it on safe lane, that's something VP has done, uh, at least, uh, I, I think it's a disgusting hero. Yeah? <laughs> I, I not a fan? Like not a fan. Disgusting. I mean, I'd like to play it. Come on! <laughs> but I'm, I hate playing against <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, man, am I the only person fanboying out there right now? Kuro and Puppy walking up on that stage, shaking hands. Two of the, out of three of the greatest minds in Dota, the third being, of course, Loda, uh, coming onto this stage. I mean, oh, whew, thanks. incredible stuff. What well, about our cast? What, what? For a caster? Well, that's a secret. We oh, spo well, spoiler, surprise. you idiot. Loda, real quick, what do you think about the third band? Are you a fan? <sighs> yeah, kind of. But I, I think that something I haven't seen so many teams do yet is like, why don't they go just ban one kind of hero? You know what I mean? Ban three carry heroes, pick the fourth, and then nah, there's more than that. <laughs> but something like that. They, they're still like, they do split it up. Sure. So heroes that so far, uh, teams think are really good in this pet patch, I think, are Omni Knight and Tidehunter. Those are almost I mean, the, no. the threes. No. <laughs> so Omni Knight secret. for sure. No, I mean, nice. a terrible hero, <laughs> Loda. You don't know anything. Okay. Don't nerf him. <laughs> but continue. <Disgusting>. So Secret's <laughs> idea has been to preemptively pick the, the Rubik. They've been yeah. to picking Rubik okay. every single time. 
So if you pick it into that, I think it, it has like good viability, right? Yeah. If you take either of those heroes, you are you essentially get like a weaker version. Oh, for sure. I think that was uh, one of the ways back in the day we used to counter pick with uh, Rubik against those heroes like Abaddon and Omni. Yeah. Um, oh, so like... Oh, wow. Oh, that's a good ban. See, I told you Omni Knight's yep. ban. He made it through the ban phase. Oh, mm. that's a little unusual. Yeah. Omni Knight, the most banned hero <laughs> by far at this tournament. 20 bans to only <laughs> two picks so far. Oh, this is usually what happens in, in really good series. Yep. You know that one of the teams is not going to do the normal stuff, and they are going to show them, you know, by leaving the Omni, they're also saying, you know, if you don't pick this hero, but if you pick it and lose... Yep. Yeah, that's not my agreement. Ogre Magi coming out first pick. We've been seeing this from a bunch of different teams. Pretty much the bloodlust machine, right? That's all he does, give people bloodlust. You know what? I think I think Lotus said it earlier. This guy is one of the scariest dual mid heroes oh, no. in the game. Oh, oh no. Sure. Lota, we have been seeing a lot wow. of Tiny Io in this tournament. I don't think he's won yet. It's been it's a what? complete no, no. disaster. One, one and three. One, one and three. three. That's Liquid disaster. did win with it. Oh, they did? Yeah. I don't know, man. It's so hard to say about Wiz because, you know, at least from my experience, when it comes to practice, either everyone bans it or nobody touches it. So you haven't been able to see much. You know, seeing this axe change on 15, you think, wow, that's going to be amazing. But you need to reach level 15 as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, so to me, I think that this dual mid, did they do dual mid? I think they actually ran it off yeah. lane. Am I right? No, on they that? they ran it dual mid. Yep. Oh. Mir was Miracle was the tiny in the no. Miracle was the tiny in the first one. Matumaman was the tiny in the second. Yeah. Uh, and then Artizi ah. and Kurt ran it in the safe lane once. Yeah. All right. Because I, I do think that you have to switch around a bit with the hero. Uh, how are you? Oh name? wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. We're going with a second right. pick, Lone Druid, straight up for Ace. Okay. So to bring you up to speed, they played it twice. And Ace single-handedly won them one of the games. He just went uh, Radiance into Ags. Uh, to on, Ags. Yeah, and yep. he got like, <laughs> and he got like Shadow Blade Deso. Yes. And he just ratted, and he took all their racks in like two seconds. Five seconds. What? Yeah. <laughs> it was. What did I miss? There were two, there were two games in this tournament. One was a crystallized Morphling, and yeah. one was Ace's Lone Druid, yeah. where the one team just could not stop one split pushing hero. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, oh. and, yeah. and as probably the all-time expert on split pushing, All right. do you think that that is back this patch? For sure. I mean, uh, I begged Bulldog to come back to the team, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> he seems done. Now, nah, but serious, I think both Furion and Lone Druid uh, seems quite strong this patch, in my opinion. Um, but you do need to really excel on the heroes, I feel like that, um, to make them really, really viable. Um, but for sure, you can split push. I think that removing shrines made all playstyles easier. Kind yeah. Of. <laughs> yeah, they really did make a big uh, impact, though. You like where Dota's at now, though, right? With the shrines gone? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I, I kind of disliked the shrines, and, and uh, I like the idea behind them, but what, what, what happened in the base, where you could always defend base yes. just by getting shrine, 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 it made it very boring. Sure. Um, but I love the idea of them, for sure. So right. how it is right now, it's better. All right, well, we got some time here. Litzy, you feeling anything crazy right now? I mean, uh, they're, they're getting a lot of their favorite heroes here. We're getting the Liquid IO, one of their favorites, and then, of course, the Team Secret Lone Druid. They're... But they're still not even touching the Omni Knight. You guys well, I mean, he's just a bad hero, Loda. I mean, they... <laughs> you know something nobody else does. I do. He's Garbo and has no need to be touched yeah. by Ice Frog in any way. So, so if Omni doesn't get picked at all? Remaining. Yeah, he's just not going to get picked. I mean... Clearly, two of the best teams in the world don't I think care right about now him. it could fit on both teams. Kind of. <laughs> so far, the counter uh, that I've seen is definitely no. <laughs> instantly fixed. That one, though, they banned the Rubik and they banned the yeah. Razor's band and the Brewmaster's band. They, ban they yeah. banned the Brew last. Yeah. yeah. That no, but that's what I'm saying. It, it's a very good pick here now. Yep. Repel Tiny, Sieging. He's going to have a good lane by himself. But you said a Tide when you said it. Are they necessarily picked in the same game? I mean, this time I don't think so. Banned, but yeah. uh, I don't think they're necessarily picked in the same game. Yeah, okay. But in China, at least, it was like one and two. You either take Omni or Tide from yeah. Halfling. But Secret, so far the answer to IO Tiny for most teams has been Death Prophet. What? I wow. think Death Prophet is so strong this patch. Yeah? I really do. All right, one of the only teams in the world that picks Lion these days, Team Secret. <laughs> Actually, the other one's Liquid. Oh no! <laughs> the Liquid, clutchest these, pick. These two are two of the last teams left that will. That There's will also. Pick the I think Lion is super strong. This oh, one. right now. I think the Impale change not super strong, but I mean, level two 
is one of the strongest laners right now. I really do think so. That's true. He, he's almost guaranteed to get level two, even as a support very, very quickly with it's, 200 XP. I think he's stronger than people people give him credit for. Yeah. But we'll see. Now there's probably going to be some mid lion just because I said that. I hope so. It'd be better <laughs> than mid dazzle. That stuff was some garbage. What? <laughs> Tingo won with it. I yeah, know. Actually, yeah, exactly. I yeah, saw they won. win with that. <laughs> Whatever you say, They guys. beat Secret too. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good, sure. But they had like. Uh, they had CTY. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> CTY. No flames. I'm just so who do you think of the best lineup? Like right now to you. Right now? Which team would you rather be? I'd rather be. I'd rather be <sighs> Team Secret. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like that as well. But You're, that's why there's two other heroes. I feel like Liquid has the harder last two picks. Yeah. There are fewer heroes that they have left that would round out their lineup. But I also think that they have three heroes that they're really good with. Yeah, of course, of course. I don't, I, I Iotani is still really weird for me. It's like, this combination, for some reason, feels broken. But it just feels like people haven't figured out, like, the right way to play it yet. What is that? Like, what your other two cores need to be. Oh, it's Shiver. <laughs> Oh, hey, that's oh, not creepy. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Shout out to Shiver. We hey, miss you. Well, what did you say? Well, what did you just say? But, I said uh, it feels like it should be a broken combo, like the yeah. tiny with Io, but for some yeah, reason... Yeah, but exactly, yeah. Okay, then I guess what you're saying. Witch Doctor. But now they, they can tether Omni Knight to get the global GA save mm -hmm. at 15. Oh. Mm -hmm. No, dude. All they tether the Witch Doctor. Team Liquid, all they wow. need is a tank, dude. That guy, whoever they pick is not going to die. If this is a Dusa game, that Dusa will live forever. She's got three sources of heals. Yeah, a bit disgusting, I guess. Mm -hmm. We checked her one of the classic counters to the Tiny Io, but works very well against the Lone Druid as well. That's right. You know, the bear has always got to be next to the man. Truly oh, having... Unless you're ace and you go axe. True. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what do you think for secret? DK, DP, one of these two laners that just sit there? I would say DP for me. Do you think they're going to go mid fourth? Don't they pick up offlane here? I feel like they already know the rough course. You could probably go for the offlaner as well. Oh, that's a sick tat. Nice. The guy in the back doesn't like it. Come on. I actually didn't <laughs> see. Aww. So yeah. I, feel like, I feel like you might just pick up maybe Fada Puck here. I think they need... They have it could work for sure, but then I can't really go for the Death Prophet, I feel. But you guys know more than me, I think. I oh. doubt that very much. You're right, Loda. <laughs> For this series, right? For this genius. series. For this series, not overall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Didn't have to add that at the end, but all right. <laughs> Here we go. 15 oh, seconds sorry. left. Team Secret. This guy, though. Yeah? Mid one. He's the man? He is the man. I really uh, do think so. He... Oh, they take Deusa? Yeah. They take the Deusa. They're snagging it. I think that would have been a great pick for Team Liquid, but uh, Team Secret getting that, as we've seen before, such a strong hero in this current meta, in this current dirt. Do you know the win rate for Dusa? Yes, I do. Uh, let me go ahead and ask my assistant here to look it up for me. Slacks. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, buddy. <laughs> One of these days. Uh, Dusa is 4-2 and two in the tournament so okay. far. It's quite good. Um, very good in the patch yeah, overall. Yeah, that's what I feel. I, I do think that Team Liquid can still pick either of AM or Weaver. So they are going to have the chance, or PL for that matter, they are going to have the chance to counter the Deusa with the fifth pick. You feel like Liquid, though, doesn't have enough playmakers? Yeah, but that's exactly, I'm so unsure what they're going to last pick here because, I they mean, Tiny can't really play playmaker yeah. all the time, and they don't have that many stuns. Dude, I want to see a Sven. I want, that's tank, that's stun, that's initiation. Yeah, but Sven versus Deusa. Sure, that, that's oh, not good. It's that's a okay, good point. I guess, but Sven gets stone gaze through BTP. Uh, it's pretty much like I don't. For me, it's it's. I mean, Kuroko will have to pull out something amazing here. I think for me to just say that uh, Liquid has gotten what they want out of this draft. Team then again, <laughs> they're Liquid. So <laughs> <laughs> there goes the PL. So the AM is still on the table, but I kind of agree with Loader here that. That really leaves you short on initiation. Tiny becomes the only player that can really, the only hero that can really start a fight. Yeah. Same time, I mean, Secret doesn't have insane amounts of playmakers either. Their last hero has to. At least they have two. They have two stuns though on their yeah. team. Yeah. And it's also like this ogre. He's, he's not gonna care whoever he meets when he's running around. Yeah. Almost the same for life. Oh, there we go. Ah, but. Somebody to get right in the middle, you know? There's I your off winner for Fada. We saw that yesterday. I kind of like that, honestly. So they're also just going to run at you. They just have three tanky yeah. cores. All right, Weaver, AM. 
Hmm. Weaver's always good with an army. Oh, I'm always gyro. down for that. Gyro. That, gyro I like be, that yeah, a lot more. Gyro Gyro's tough. Yeah, but I think it could be a good pick. They got so many heals. He'll survive. Gyro will make it, especially with Repel. Ah, ooh. OD. Yeah, OD is actually quite good for sure. Okay. Hell yeah. yeah. There we go. The classic OD Omni combo. Uh. All right, guys. Game one, moments away. Loda, I'll start with you, buddy. Yeah. Who have you got here? Uh, I think that Secret is going to win this game. Okay. All Liquid. Right. I ain't going to go against the pro Dota player. I'm going to go with uh, Team Secret on this one. Carry me, Loda. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm going to go Secret as well. I don't know that I'm not convinced that Liquid has the tools to do with the deal, so. But oh, we have a special <laughs> treat for you. Not only a premier matchup here in the best of three winner's bracket final, but we got a lone druid in the game. And we've got the expert on that hero at the casting desk, the guy with the largest hero pool ever in professional Dota. Here is Odie Pixel and Admiral Bulldog. Thank you very much, Nahaz. And indeed, we've got a very special guest here with me today, ready for quite a series, Secret versus Liquid. We have got the Lone Druid. Bulldog, I mean, straight up, is it a good Lone Druid game? Uh, yes. yes. Every game is good for Lone Druid. And, uh, I mean, how can you not love Lone Druid? Uh, I mean, look at this game, though. Liquid versus Secret. It's big. The players. You got Ace, you got third Ace. best Lone Druid player in the world. Third best? Yeah. Who's in the top two? Uh, well, Matuma Man is the second, okay. obviously. Okay. Uh, even Mind Control, second best Profit player. So how many second best Profit players are there? Uh, I mean, he's the only one. Okay. So, I mean, we all know who's the best one. Yes, of course. Yes. Farta. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know about yeah. that. <laughs> Hold up. Well, we'll be able to get ourselves <laughs> into the action. Oh, we won't actually. There's a pause. Kuro, he's, he's, he's got some issues. Uh, oh. But you, you were sort of saying to me you, you were a little interested about the fact that they had the, the Lone Druid and the Medusa. These two heroes playing for a, a sort of different pace of game, you, you feel? Yes, I mean, I'm just a pub player these days, but in sure. the pubs, generally you want to you know, end the game after you get Radiance. You get Radiance, you push, take a team fight, you win the game. And at 20 minutes, Medusa wants to generally just farm. So, but, you know, I'm just a casual pleb these days, so maybe oh, I'm wrong Don't here. put yourself down, Bulldog. <laughs> you know, there's, we've got TI winners in the games, we've got TI winners on the casting desk. It's all high-class stuff here. And then over on the other side, Liquid. They, they have sort of that, that combo. They used to be really potent, having Omni OD. I mean, they used to be that, that in pubs, in proglet games. That pairing was an absolute nightmare to play against. Sure, surely it's still just as strong. Om Omni's been getting a lot of love recently. OD a little less so, but the two of them still together, that, that could be pretty damn scary. Oh, yeah, of course, because you don't, you need the BKB immunity on uh, the OD. Mm -hmm. You can just go ham. And preferably, you don't want to buy BKB on, on OD. You just want to go full in. Go full balls deep, you know, and Omni is really good in the off lane. It's really hard to zone him out, so yeah. looking to be pretty good, pretty good. I mean, talking about the side lanes, is there, are you, do you expect sort of what this, this Omni just to be left in this, this lane against Ace, where Ace is left on his own, and then the Lone Druid farming on his own against the Omni Knight, is that an okay matchup for the Lone Druid? Or does he need a bit of backup from the supports in that lane? Well, Fortunately for Lone Druid, he's basically one of the best one-on-one -on -one laners. Uh, so he will do fine in pretty much any matchup. However, I mean, he's not going to be able to kill the Omni Knight. It's going to be really hard. And Omni will get farmed, though, so... But, but since the change to uh, the, the Night Creeps, it's going to be pretty hard for Omni Knight to get levels. Oh, sure. Well, we'll see how the lane ends up going as we get ourselves into this one. Ladies and gentlemen, Secret vs. Liquid, Game 1. And uh, we'll go for a quick rundown at the side. So on Liquid, we'll have Matumba Man playing the Tiny this time around. We'll see Miracle do it. We'll see Matumba do it. He's going to be on it this time. GH, of course, on his signature IO. Kuro will be supporting on Witch Doctor. Top lane, as we we're talking about. Mind Control on the Omni Knight. Last but not least, the Miracle OD. Over on the side of Team Secret, Puppy. Waltzing around, being that Bloodlust machine. He's on the Ogre. Mid one, playing the middle, mid lane as Medusa. Fada on the core, off lane Abaddon. Yapsaw on his Lion. And finally, the man will be watching, Ace Lone Druid. He's had two games that we've seen here on the main stage already. Uh, it's been very, very scary uh, from his Lone Druid. I mean, how, how do you deal with the Lone Druid if you're liquid? Like, do you, do you let him get the farm or do you have to put the pressure on early? 
I mean, honestly, I think the, the worst thing that can happen for Laundred is, uh, you know, when you're sitting around 3,000 gold and you get one or two smoke ganks and it slows you down quite significantly. And, I mean, they have the Wisp to relocate. They can easily go gank this uh, LD, which is one hero, so... It's a bit scary, but unfortunately, or fortunately for Laundred, he's got massive health and you got Savage, sure. So it's, it's pretty hard to die on Laundred. Yeah, we've seen Ace timeless. And time to get the rune, though. To get the save of the Savage Ruin. Indeed. See, see Liquid waltz in. Miracle. Takes both of them for himself. Look at the top and the bottom one. Yeah, that looks like a GG to me. Bounty runes. Doing a, I mean, it's kind of said, but it's, it is great in that mid lane, having that bit of a cash boost on the OD. And so this dual mid once again that we'll be seeing between the two of them. Bottom lane, as it is, secret taking two heroes down here, both Yapso and Fada going up against GH and Matuma Man. And uh, leaving that matchup as we expected up top, being the, the ace 1v1 lone druid against the Omni Knight. I mean, who's going to have the, the biggest difficulty in these lanes? Is there any lane you're sort of looking at and you're feeling this is, this is definitely one-sided in terms of the matchups? I don't think any matchup is one-sided. Maybe top a little bit. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, as I said, Omni is going to get farm for sure. Bottom will uh, be pretty even, I think. But it'll be pretty... I mean, no one's going to die there, probably, because they got two support heroes they can save. And middle, I mean, this just looks like a farm game to me, honestly. Yeah. Very exciting. It is. It's, it's these sort of static lanes. See GH have a bit of a go at Yapsil. It could be a, a slow start between these sides, just securing the farm. Yapsil keeping yeah. eyes on, on both GH and Kuro. It's Fada, getting more confident, pushing in. He's got the level two now. Just let me get, get gone upon here. They have the Maledict and the Toss, bringing him down low. He's got the Aphotic Shield, will go straight for the TP out. Does he make it? Yes, he does. Wow. And the Maledict will not be enough to kill that man. That Fada. was close. That's a smart offlaner. Very smart. The loner has zero denies, though. What do you have to say about that? I, I, I mean, I, it's, you got two heroes there, Bulldog. Surely uh, you're able to get some of the denies, having the bear in yourself, but... Getting the double rune, incredibly smart. That's some pure skill. Out top, Yapsaw gets caught out by the Maledic. GH and Kuro sending him back. He should be able to live. Tango regen easily enough to outdo the, the effects of a level one Maledict. Hmm. Yeah, as you can see, Omni is doing absolutely fine in top lane. Yeah. But that kind of changes when you Loner hits level five because you got the kill potential then. But Omni is one of those heroes that's pretty hard to kill. Got the heal. Yeah, so. You're lucky with the roots. Or skillful. Yeah, it's all about the skill with those roots. Yeah, you got to do a quick math. Got to hit some uh, creeps before and so on. Bottom lane, Fada. Gets tossed back again. The Maledict after the uh, Fodic Shield. Should be fine, Yapso. Hots back to my man with a stun. Is he, though? Ah, yeah, you're right. They might be able to get the trap around him. This time around, he hasn't got a TP to get out. He's got one more shield, but the toss is there to break through it. And that'll be your first blood, GH to take it. Yeah, it's not good to die. Like that. It's not good to die at all, actually. This is true. And especially when you're in the game. Yeah. That's, that could be even worse sometimes, <laughs> the amount of money that's on the line. Mid lane. Mid one. 14 for six. Miracle 11 for three. Still close. Miracle having a bit more of a beating. Of course, with Liquid sending both supports down to the bottom. Mind Control able to get nice and slow. aggressive here. Bottom lane. Oh, oh no. no. What's happening here, Bulldog? A second time. Fada gets taken down. He's struggling against this tri lane. Yeah. Even with the Yapsil Lion there. I mean, I guess this is the thing early on. Lion, he can't really do too much to save that about him. Not when there's three heroes there. Nah. And with the Tiny getting the movement speed from Wisp, you just run him down. I mean, you got to play around that, obviously. Oh, oh. GH. <laughs> wow. Calculated. Pretty close. He, he knew he was fine there. He did the numbers. Yeah, GH is pretty good, I guess. Yeah, he's not bad on the eye. Uh, he's, he wants that bounty. Puppy says no. Fire blast for the avalanche is there. Uh, GH is still down. It's pretty bad, actually. Never mind. <laughs> Ace, though, gets again. He's got the double bounty runes. That lone druid doing the micro. Losing to CS Wardle. He is. This, this mind control Omni Knight, 20 for 7 against the 17 for 0. It's still yet to get a deny pulled on. Uh, four minutes in, no denies from Ace. Yeah, with two heroes, with I mean, the bear. Two is pretty significant because you only get 25 experience now. 
And Secret, of course, yet to, to really send anyone else up there to punish the Omni Knight. So Mind Control loving life on this offlane. Yeah, we'll see. He's hitting five on laundry now, so... Okay, this is when things sort of take a turn for the worse for the Omni. Yeah, but he's got a lot of region, though. He's got the heal and the flask and the shrine coming up now. He's not really going to be able to harass him out. It's, it's going to get trickier. We'll see. He's out here with the arcane boosters. We can keep that, that spam high. Mid lane. Miracle. A little bit behind in denies. If one nearly reaching onto level five. You've got the soaring for Fada, so. But he on that off lane, he is struggling in CS. And as we've seen, he's gone down twice already. It's certainly a slower start for him. Yeah, so actually finding oh. Miracle, but it's just a level two line. There isn't going to be enough damage to take down the sticks. OD. Let's see uh, if Yapso can play around this. It'll just simply walk straight past them, down the mid, back to mid one and the Medusa, and Yapso gets himself away. Ah, oh, the double heal. That's what feels good, man. Look at that. That's some balance. Straight back up to 100. With the help of the Io and the Shrine. Yeah, it looks like the Abaddon is not getting much farm at all here. And all the cores on Liquid are doing just fine here. And a farm the Omni Knight is pretty scary. And he's got even mana boost now, so... Oh, no. Look who they found yet again, Fada. He's gone down twice. Is he going to get away? This time, the, the Ancient's actually helping bring him like down, though. Uh, he's back to the Shrine. TP's coming through from Puppy and Yapsaw. They've got the Cask out from Kuro. Maledict as well. Matuma Man being healed up by GH. Look at it, was Fada. The Aphotic Shield's taken off. Maledict is still on him. Fada's going to get caught out by the Avalanche. He's down. Puppy as well getting tossed off. Two for Matumba Man. Wow. Double kill. That didn't even look close. Look at her health. Absolutely How are they so much health? What's going on here? Apparently. Even an Ogre there. Io and the Voodoo Restoration from Kuro all adding up as they keep each other alive. And uh, yeah, the bait play from Secret not working out at all. So four for one. Still the farm for the mid lane and the top lane. That's, that's going where it's good. You know, it's this whole thing of the who's winning the most lane. Secret definitely doing better in the middle and the top. And the bottom lane, Liquid getting a lot of kills for their tiny. 2-0-2 two, two on Matumba Man. Yeah. And the Laundry beating the CS of Omni now. Very impressive, although it seems to be some neutrals. Not as impressive anymore, though. True. Neutrals. Yeah, I would have won this lane, I'm pretty sure. Um, how many CS would you have at this stage? Probably like 80. 80. Something like that. That sounds about right. I would have killed Mind Control a few times as well, if I'm going to be honest. Ah, oh, come on. I mean, he's not a TI winner. We've been be too harsh on the lad ace. He'll be there one day. We go down, bottom him again. We see this replay. Fada. Taking a lot of bullying from this aggression from Liquid. It looks like they were going to turn it here, but they don't really have any damage on their heroes. Yeah, yep. So still struggling to really have much of an impact as this level three line. It's very hard for him to stop. And the flask on GH as well. Very impressive player. Uh, Liquid getting this aggression off. Very nicely. Miracle now. It's level six. Actually, got his eyes on the bear. This time they'll make sure that Ace doesn't get both for the bounty runes. Take the one from the bat. Yeah, that's a really good thing about Lone Druid. You steal the enemy's bounty rune, and if they contest, you oh. just click E. Oh, all right. Oh, the micro. <laughs> He's got to split him up a little bit more if he wants to try and take a witch doctor like that. So. Yeah. Bit disappointed. So my man gets the stack. The bouncer are in there for GH to top his bottle back up. Mind control level eight on this top lane. That's Soaring, ready to go as well. A little scary. And we've seen many a time Omnis take over the game. I think in most of the matches we've had here, it gets banned out in the first phase. A liquid getting it through this game, and we're already seeing its strengths in this laning stage. Bottom oh. lane. Absor. Chase down. Oh, oh the tree! The ball. Oh. oh! That's always going to hurt when someone tosses a log at your backside. Yeah, that's not good. This, I mean, this bottom lane for Secret has just not been great. As this, this Abad and Lion combination is, feels like he's just done nothing against Liquid. Yeah, you'd think they would be able to pressure it, but Witch Doctor just ran bottom and stunning and mel Melodic, so they just died. Then you can't go back there, so. But still, Laundry, top of the net worth. So they're still cool. Yeah, absolutely. We've seen, cool. seen Ace just win games. Yeah. His performance alone, as you mentioned, just 
stage where he can get the ags, go for the split push, and suddenly that becomes yeah. incredibly difficult to deal with. All about the Midas Radiance timing. And we'll yeah. see what time he can get the Radiance in this game, or if Liquid are able to sort of punish him when he makes that climb towards the Relic. Yeah. And it's got the Midas, which is a great item on Lone Druid. Uh, and it's 10 minutes now is when you usually get level 6 on Wisp because you buy the book. However, GH being so good as he is, he's already level 6, so... Uh, he's ready see if to they can uh, set up any ganks here. He's got the Rune. He could relocate top. Pretty hard kill, though. Uh, he's pretty beefy, Ace. Yeah, he's level 10 on Lone Druid, so he's got the health now. As long as he saves the Savitor, he shouldn't die there. Unless Witch Doctor comes top as well. Yeah, with the Maladic, they might have a chance. And those casts as well, as we've seen, can cause issues for all the lone druid. Tuma Man actually making the rotation to mid with the back of a GH. TP's coming through, though. But Tuma Man getting fire blast and a stunned up under the tower. This sustains more than enough, though. That with the heal, tether though. and the voodoo restoration. A double heal. It's very hard for a lot of to heal. have the damage at this stage. Yeah, and. You know, Tiny's naturally pretty tanky. He's got 1,500 health at 10 minutes. You look at the Lion, he's got 600. I don't need quick maps to sort that one out. It comes down to comparing who's going to die first. Matuma, he's saving up the money. Do you think we are going to just see the, the blink straight up on the, the Tiny? We see lots of different builds on, on Tiny nowadays. Yeah, he's queued it up. So getting the blink first this game, do you yeah. like that? Yeah, because they have Odi as a carry. They're not playing Tiny as a main carrier. No. So uh, I think it's definitely fine here. Oh, there is the jump. Blink reveal, Fada. Not quite level six yet, of course. The Aphotic Shield taken off. One more toss of the branch will do it. And Matuma Man again. I believe that's what the fourth time Fada's died down on this bottom lane. Yeah. Unable to deal with this pressure this tiny IO applying. Yeah, I went to good build on Tiny as well, not the max bullshit tree anymore. <laughs> Eli's still just getting the combo. The, the... Yeah, it's so much damage. It, I it's mean, like it is, uh, yeah. a billion damage. Not exaggerating. That's some OS frog there. And oh, Matuma Man, Detour. he's doing it again. And he's, the father's come in. I mean, he's got to get straight <laughs> out of there. You don't want to stick around near this tiny. TP will get cancelled by Yapsor as well. He said, no, you're on your own down there, boy. And they get triple rune now, maybe. No, wait, he didn't take the rune. Oh, is it, he, he didn't actually, did he? He went straight back to the table. Oh, it's because Matuma wow. Man wants to go in. Yo, uh, hold this. up. <laughs> TI winner, question mark? Oh, he's going to get chased down for that one. I mean, GH is a little low on mana. TP right there. Apparently he can't die. Oh, he can. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so straight in. I think he only just hit six as well. Comes in and blows up GH. But to my man, he oh, grabbed that DD. Oh, I'll take that. Well, even uh, as bad as going for Fada, if you look at the other course on Secret, they're doing absolutely fine. Oh yeah, Ace up top is having he's having a whale of a time. He's he's pretty much got the relic. So this sort of first turtle's hit, and um, he's on track to hit the sort of 14, 15 minute. Radiance minus time. And that's pretty, pretty good timing. Might get it 14 minutes if it's really fast. Yeah, we've seen this story before with Ace. If he gets a, a good start like this, he's very hard to stop. The split push could suddenly yeah. become very hard for Liquid's lineup to deal with. And mid one, he's got a juicy ancient stack here as well. Yeah, that's a Craigasm. And they do not know about it, so it's uncontested. And a bloodlusted Medusa. That's even more feels good, man. Let's see. They do, they've got the ward down, but I mean, as you say, they're, they're not showing any interest of heading over there for now. And even if they get there, they, I guess they have the tiny that, that could sort of clean them up, but it's still yeah, it's quite risky. It's pretty hard for them because they didn't max the tree. True, yeah. They arrive with them uh, like this is really the time you want to go gank to Lone Druid if they can. Yeah, we're yet to really see sort of an aggressive relocate play to come out from GH, as it has been at the moment, just holding it back and, and saving it for defensive. Plays. Money is there for the relic. You have to see it picked up by to my, uh, by uh, by Ace, but he'll get it soon. But to my man grabs another tree and pushing down bottom. More and more space this time. This lane sort of being left alone by Secret. No one really wanting to deal with this tiny IO at this stage of the game. So to my man and GH can pretty much do whatever they want down here. Five zero two on tiny. Going back to the classic Sanchin Yasha build. Got to, got to run fast. And with that eye, I run even faster. Now you have so hiding in the mid lane. Am I going to jump in on an illusion? Yeah. That's called a debate. Un unable to punish it, though, Secret. You have so still 
bit of time until the, the Finger of Death comes back online. And how are mids doing? Miracle, 5.2k, mid one, 6.4k. So it has this lead, and it is going to be even more so if he does get away with actually finishing off this stack. It's having issues with it because of these uh, new ancients. They give so much region, but and finally it's, it's enough levels to kill it. And I look guess. who's heading over. Liquid want to contest. Matuma Man straight in with the combo onto Midbon. Yapso has this tunnel to do, but the Sanus is eclipsed from Miracle. Blows up Midbon. That's the Medusa okay. now. They'll go in for the stack, and they may be able to steal a fair bit of this away from Secret. Pretty rough, though. Do they have Radiance yet? Doesn't look like it, so I guess they're giving this up. That is a lot of money. That's very bad. Very bad. Indeed. It's fine. They got the Lone Druid. They got the Lone Druid. Pretty good against their heroes. Yeah, really still yet to see Liquid turn any attention towards Ace, as you say. He's had all the space in the world up top. They're pushing on mid. mid one coming back with the TP in. They want to try and hold this tier one tower. Yeah, they got the finger so they can have good bursts here. Yeah, Laundry's got the Radiance now. Okay. The heat is turning up. But it's still going to be pretty hard for him to fight because they got so much heal. They got Omni Knight, obviously, and then the Wisp and, uh, and Rasta. Tumor Man has found Ace. They'll toss him down onto the bear, get him in the river. Just the two of them. Tree out as well, but Midbon's there to back him up. They're looking for that entangle. Can they get it? Doesn't look like they can. They have to pull the bear out. He's getting a bit low. Repel on Matsuma Mana with the back of a GH in mind control. He's feeling strong, blinks forward, tries to get the grab onto Puppy, but Puppy, still with a haste rune, gets away. Apparently Omni also has a mech already. Yeah, mind That's control. a lot pretty, of healing. Pretty damn stacked. Fada does manage to finish off the medallion. Now starting to see some items come out on him, despite the fact that he is still, still quite behind. I mean, especially, as, as you say, comparing the two offlaners at this stage, about 3k gold difference between them, considering how good of a start mind controls had in comparison. Top yeah, that, that Abaron is going to have a hard time getting back into, into this game without a Midas. Uh, but, you know, they got the Medusa and Lone Druid. So if he just shields him, at least he does something. It's all good. Should get this tower as well. Equip. Uh, no one coming up. Try and put a stop to this push. Spine control and miracle slowly but surely. Beat down the tower. Uh, only 8 for 2, though, 17 minutes in. Very calculated game between these two sides. Yeah, they're pretty good. Playing pretty slow right now, but it's going to speed up a bit now because we got the Radiance. Got to go for those towers now. Get that gold lead. 10 armor on the bear talent. Yeah, with the, uh, with the Lone Druid, is it always pretty much the same talents every game, or is there ever sort of uh, one that you, you decide on depending on the, the situation you're in? Uh, well, the first two is always the same, but I've seen... Uh, I've seen Ace go attack speed on level 20, which I personally don't. Okay. And that's mainly because my games end before that. Sure. Anything, my game would have been won by now. <laughs> so I never get that talent, but I usually go battle cry cooldown. Yeah, I guess it was. It's insane when you get level 25. Which gives you BKB pretty much. Oh. Fada's found out, but Fada's fine. He's got the... Borrowed time, turns to get the stun onto one. Barrier. Force back, there's the entangling route, but Mind Control's fine. He's repelled, he's okay. Mid one pops the stone gaze. Liquid just back off. G actually popped by Mind Control. Now I can see Matuma Man jump back in, gets farther after the borrowed time wears out, but they do lose Miracle. One for one trade, Secret looking to chase for more. The Radiant Spare chasing them down, ticking them down. They've got good sustain though from Kuro and the Vida Restoration. Io still up as well. Up the heal, they've got the attention turned towards the, the uh, Omni Knight. Do they have the control? He'll look for the TP out, but wow. the root is there. Wow. Look at that skill from Ace. He finds the entangle, and Mind Control will be caught out and taken down. That, that's some class. Yeah. You do Lone not want to underestimate Laundry. Like, Laundry right. is insanely strong at this point. Even as, as strong as Liquid was there, all this heal, it just didn't even look close, honestly. Yeah, but I was, I was a little upset that. there because I saw. Uh, oh, oh well, there we go. Can he get him? Mid one. He's got Puppy with him. Oh. And he's pushing them back. But Tumaman and GH have to back away. GH getting very low. And uh, he'll be fine. He does get out. But they uh, can't quite burst down mid one on this Medusa when he's as full as All he right. was. Puppy's a bit of an easier target. Going a little deep here. He's got the back of a fada. Four members of Secret now looking for the chase down. The bear's coming in as well. Trying to close the gap. Yapso can't find the stun. Force out. GH is able to break the distance. And Liquid will get out of there. Yeah, Tiny is pretty fast. But yeah, as I was saying before, on that fight there, I noticed that 
Laundry didn't even use Midas throughout the entire fight. Oh no, efficiency lost. Yeah. I'm allowed. I'm allowed to flame players, by this the way. Is true. I'm not a caster. No. I'm a, a TI winner. A TI winner. Right. Turned caster. Yeah. It's the progression we all make. That's right. You don't want to have that passive Midas. The chat will get very upset about that. Oh yeah, I bet they do. They're always on top of that chat as well. They always know when efficiency is lost. Oh yeah, they know. We've got they know some a geniuses lot. at Twitch chat. Very, very smart. 20 minutes in, nine to four, 2K lead for Liquid. I mean, it, it, it feels hard to, to say really who's ahead at this stage, because sure, Liquid, they have the numbers, but as we've been saying, Aces, Lone Druid, it's, it's still in a very good place, isn't it? This is, now Aces, I'm sure he's pretty happy with the pace of this game. Yeah, I mean, seeing him play Lone Druid last, Yesterday, I think it was when he went to Axe. Yeah, it was pretty pretty good at riding. So, and it's it's if it goes late game, that's gonna be a problem for sure. This game as well, even though they have high mobility on their heroes, it's just so hard to deal with. Jump four from Matsumba. He's caught out Yapsil. Quick combo, and Yapsil's gone. No sort of shield can save him. Final now being turned towards Liquid, trying to get Miracle in to get the cash for the Astral, but couldn't quite close the gap. Sweep around towards mid. Poppy has to be careful about being jumped on. I found oh, Matumba, he's found oh, a bigger oh, target. He's straight in on the lone druid. Ace trying to get himself away. Caught out by the avalanche. They have the stone gaze as well to push them off. And in fact, oh, it's going to affect Matumba man. He gets caught. He's falling low. GH has got the relocate. Takes Matumba man out of there. Now Kuro and Miracle in a bit of an awkward oh. position. They came around from behind. But Poppy and mid one are chasing down Kuro. Fire blast is there, allowing mid one to close the gap. Vita restoration, keeping Kuro alive, but he'll off. still go down. Too much damage from mid one. That's one gone. Mind control pops the GA, but the stun from Yapto catches two. Oh, Finger of death blows up mind control. They turn back towards Miracle. GH, he's brought Matumba man back in. Tethers across, saving Miracle here for the time being with the heal. They're trying to get Miracle out of this, but secret, they're looking to chase. They're looking for Miracle. He's falling low. There's no relocate to get him back out. Matuma Man ready to hold them back. He'll have the combo back up in a second. He blinks forward up to the high ground. Miracle ticking now low. The radiance on the bear bringing this man very, very low. He's had to split up from the IO. They'll continue to chase him down. Four steps. And they get him. See if GH can save him. And Matuma Man comes Whoa. in with it. He pops the wow. combo, blows up Yapsil, punishes the secret there for the chase. And Miracle is saved. All right. Nice team fight. Pretty even again. Yeah. Secret finding something off the back of that, but Liquid at the end of the day keeping their cause alive. Some, it's a very nice play from GH on the IO, as expected. Yeah, and this, this dagger on Tiny is definitely paying off this game. Yeah. Getting a lot of pickoffs on it. Can they kill mid? He's oh, tanking. Oh, Ace. He's not expecting this one. Have they got enough burst and damage? Oh, the Savage Roar! Come on to my man, get back in. He hasn't got a tree to toss, and with the shield as well, Ace is more than fine. He gets out of there, Secret heading forward, Liquid still poking around with him. That's a draw, by the way. Oh, oh, what a spell. Back in my days, that spell didn't exist. Ah, you wasn't TI without that spell. Yeah, That's but impressive. I was never out of position like that, though. <laughs> Miracle. Hello. Holtz is right bound behind the tier two. Matuma Man jumps in, look for the combo onto Fada, but Fada's out to the side. Mid one and Yapsil there as well. The broad time comes out. Fada's going to live through the toss. He's okay. Puppy up to the high ground, repels on Miracle. They're trying to move forward for Fada. He's got to get himself back. Oh, oh sanities dropped by Miracle. His intelligence overriding that of Fada. As he absolutely destroys him. They'll look towards the bear. Savage Raw. Now back the bear up. Should be fine. Maledict won't be enough to bring him down. Now get the bear back to base. Liquid starting to step up the aggression. 12 for 6, 5k lead. And GH needs a second. Why? And this is the question we always ask as casters, you know. Why, why do players pause games, Paul? I don't know. From what I heard, it's tactical pauses. So, well, we'll take this one to Reddit for some, uh, some deep analysis. I'm sure it's just the audio, as always. It's, it, we get a lot of audio complaints. That's, that's the common one. Yeah, but why, though? Who knows? Just land things, you know. I'm sure we'll be back on in a second, but... 12 for 6, Ace still at the top. Matuma Man, I tell you what, he's tiny. I mean, you said it, getting the blink early on has really paid off. And he's still yet to die there. Haven't managed to bring him down. I mean, a lot of that, of course, down to the backup of both Kuro and uh, GH keeping him alive. And he's looking very scary, Matuma Man. Yeah, someone said also is looking scary. This uh, Wisp is very farmed. He's got 5k net worth higher than... Abad uh, Abaddon even. 
Yeah, that is quite something we said at the start. Fada struggling. 0 6 and 1 this game on a bad end. 0 6 and 1. Ah. That's not good. That ain't great. At least he's got one assist. I mean, that's true. It's better than zero assists. Zero, six, and zero would be very bad. That would be out of the team material. Father struggling. I mean, a lot of it I feel down to as well, the, the hero, Abaddon, one of those heroes that a lot of the time we, we do see underwhelming performances is if you get punished at the start, it can be quite hard to climb your way back in. Yeah. Full out pipe on GH. Especially when you don't go Midas, which, I mean, I guess you don't want to do this game because you, I'm sure you feel confident having a Medusa and Lone Druid. And Ace, again, the third best Lone Druid out there. So he feels confident. I'm, I'm just going to throw some shields. That's all he has to do. Hey, keep Ace alive. Make sure the space is there for the Lone Druid to continue to get bigger and bigger. He's pretty much got the assault crest finished. A few hundred more gold, and that will be out for Ace. Uh, but looking to be at a, probably a similar time to the, uh, the assault crest of Tiny. But Timberman's going to also have his done very, very shortly. trying to send the bear into, onto Kuro, but can't really look to dive and make for that play. Ball staff nearly complete for mind control as well. Another sort of save against anyone unlucky enough to get caught out by the entangle. I don't know how this game is going to look late game for Secret. I don't know if Lone Druid and Medusa is going to be able to carry this. Because this, in the end, those two here, uh, all they do is right click pretty much in a team fight. Same with Abaddon. Whereas uh, Liquid, they're gonna have hexes and they're gonna have stuns, mass heals, so this goes much later. Feeling a bit worried. For Secret, I don't think Medusa and the Laundry will be able to carry this. Unless we get some really nice ratting. See how that plays into the game. Sure, he's gonna go Axe again. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he does so after that AC. Liquid getting the space for Roche. Secret nowhere near. This will be a, a free Aegis for Miracle. He grabs it, they smoke up immediately, and looks to sweep around. But at the same time, Secret with their own smoke does get spotted out by the ward, so they know exactly what's up. And in fact, GH comes in and he what's dispels it. This? Very tense right now. They got the high ground, though. They do. They know that something's coming in. Medusa in the front line. This is very hard for for Liquid to fight up into. They do have the Aegis, they're gonna Repel. leave Miracle. The OD Omni combo is pretty scary. We'll get one touch onto the bear. Secret wow. backing off. Got the banish on the bear as well. Secret, what's their plan? Do they really want to try and take this fight into the Aegis outside of the base? That's the question. The Bloodlust, try and back off. And the Man's in immediately sees Yapsaw and sees the easy kill. Combos down the Lion. That's one gone. And now with one member down, Secret had to be careful here. Mid one finds the Stone Gaze. Savage Roar at the same time, pushing Liquid away. Kuro drops the Death Wall from the high ground. Stone Gaze will be there to counter. Oh, Matumba jumps in, gets the toss back on mid one, separates him from the team. The Paralyzing Curse bouncing between him and the neutral creep. Mid one's in trouble. He's out of mana. He's out of luck. Mid one's going to get taken down outside the base, down for a minute. And Matumba Man Tiny, he has been absolutely nailing at this game. Miracle just jumping into the base with that Blink Dagger and repelled up, looks towards Puppy. Matumba Man's coming in as well. In. Oh my goodness. And his ultimate, right? Racking up for Moya. 68. Sanity is still ready to pop, as you say. And Liquid, this is, I mean, this is just getting massively out of hand for Secret. I don't know if there's going to be a chance for them to rat with Liquid pushing in as hard as they are with these, this aggression. Yeah, this time is definitely just winning the game for him right now with this dagger. Getting that kill yeah. online instantly and tossing back the Medusa. And, you know, as you were saying before, Tiny, he's not had that good of a win rate recently, but Matsuma Man showing us how it's done so far this game as they move in. Fortifications out. Eight seconds still before mid ones there. They have managed to protect the buyback. Miracle moving in, continue to rack up the end. Drops the sanity, just straight down on Puppy. Looks towards Fada, Fada's got the borrowed time. Miracle falling a little low, but he has still got that Aegis. Yapsaw, perfect timing with the stun, but Matuma Man jumps in. Looks for the toss onto Yapsaw, can't quite finish him. Mid one, punching into Matuma Man. Matuma Man, he needs to get out of there. GH is there with the tether. They'll force back Matuma, he's fine. Miracle's still alive, purified up by mind control. Liquid's still standing strong. The bear's falling low as well as they beat back Ace. They get the space to take down the middle melee racks. Miracle just blinking in. He's looking for the kill on the bear. With the banished damage, it's going to be close. See if that bear dies. It does. 300 gold there for Miracle as he picks up the bear kill. They've cleaned out the mid lane. This is looking very rough. For I mean, how does Secret come back from this one, Bulldog? 
<clears throat> they don't. There we have it. <laughs> oh, maybe you can go to Axe. Maybe that yeah. can do something. But I guess it's always going to get a Hex relatively soon, I guess it's going to go. I mean, I guess the real question is, if you're the lone Achievers. druid in this game, yeah. who are you flaming? Well, <laughs> they're all really good players. You know? <laughs> you're too kind, Bulldog. Very good. Yeah, it's I'm not a, a well-mannered caster. Oh, yeah, this is getting out of hand and a half a secret. Equipped with this tiny IO opening to the draft. So, so good with it. And yeah, they still got the uh, Aegis up, so I wouldn't be surprised yep. if we just go aggro still. I wouldn't be surprised. On control level 17, the Greaves. And a lot of money on top of it. He's got a lot of ways he can go with that 2.4k. See if he wants to get aggressive himself. Could just pick up a Rage at this stage if you want. A few options for the map. Yeah. Maybe even the, the okay, yeah, Blink, I was gonna say. Okay, there we go. Get that positioning and make sure you can get those GA saves to put a stop to all the Medusa can do in these team fights. The secret, they're trying to come out of the base. They're grouping up. Still tier one towers on the map. Yeah. And secret have only been able to take the tier one down bottom. Still mid lane and top lane for the taking. They will get the top one. They're moving in, but Liquid looking to push them back. Yeah, they're the gonna push bottom. pretty fast here. That's Tony for you. Almost pushes as fast as Lone Druid. And look at them, guys. And Adrius is going to run out relatively soon, I believe. So they want to go right now. Let's see what Secret can do to stop it. Very aggressive play here. I've got to hold this Secret. Solar Crest complete for Kura. Leading onto Miracle. A lot of damage coming out from mid one. Will force back Miracle. Greaves are popped. Miracle down to half health. They are stopping Liquid for now, pushing them back. It's always going to be the thing with the Medusa high ground pushing against it. It's never going to be easy. Unless they can get the jump in. If Matuma Man sees an opportunity to get in and toss the Medusa out, that would sort of be the dream situation for Liquid when it comes to these pushes. Yeah, but it's really hard for a Seeker to kill anyone due to the mass heal, and obviously the Wisps can save people, and they can do slow siege if they want. I mean, that's the thing as well. Where, where sort of se Secret don't really have any initiation, do they? They can't really jump to the backliners at all. There's no way of getting past the cores and, and two, as you say. Oh, they pretty much got to go on tiny. And yeah. if you're going tiny, uh, <laughs> it's not really going to die. Yeah, very hard to, to run with the lineup that Secret have playing behind as they are now. Yeah, I mean, he's getting close to the Axe on Lone Druid. And he went to attack okay. speed. Town, which is obviously better for the ratting with the axe, uh, but I'm not sure if that's really going to save them this game. Yeah, he's got to work absolutely overtime with the split push ace if he wishes to hold secret in on this. Dyer's top shrine is yeah, I mean, attack. Liquid is probably just going to wait for Rosha now and then get get it and then just end the game. Well, down bottom. Oh. Look who they found. Uh -oh. They've got the relocate as well. Matuma Man coming in, looking for the combo on Ace. He has the Savage Roar, trying to buy himself some time. Oh. The damage from Miracle, surely too much. Sanity's Eclipse comes out. Ace is down. Miracle pops the Shiva's guard. They'll get Yapsaur as well. Three heroes down bottom. Fada, the borrowed time's already been popped as they move in. Triple kill for Miracle. The toss is into control mid one. He gets the chance to stone gaze. They simply back away. Ace will buy back, but the rest of Secret do not have buybacks available. Only the two cores here to hold against the full five-man push of Liquid as they'll take the Tier 3 tower, move onto the racks, and Liquid looking to clean up in spectacular fashion here. 20k lead. Yeah, there's no way they can defend this. It's looking pretty hard indeed, Mibwon. 52 int, seems good. And they'll come back in, they'll turn towards Matumba. Malatik That's the last the pair. It's out, they've got to keep that pair alive. He's moving it onto Matuma Man, does find the route. Savage Roar as well, pushing them back. But again, this amount of sustain between Kuro and GH, keeping Matuma Man alive. They can hardly put a dent in this tiny. They'll turn towards mid one, Fire Blast, Holdback's Miracle, but he's got the repel. He's moving in, the pipe's there as well. Miracle just taking no damage whatsoever as they'll look to the tier three. Secret have the full team back up. And that will start to push Liquid back a little bit, but they're all full health. This sustain is just absolutely ridiculous and is complementing the way the Liquid are playing this game so perfectly. Yeah, they're playing, uh, playing pretty well, I guess. Not and, bad uh, for a bunch of TI winners. Yeah, but that TI yeah, was a while ago. That's oh, true. No need to mention that anymore. Yeah, it's irrelevant. Yeah. 
Lads from Mind Control as well. They're selling those extra bit of auras to help finish the game for Liquid. Yeah, they don't even need to wait for Roche, honestly. Some teams would be like, oh, we got to play safe, got to wait for that Roche, but a good team, they know. Yeah, they're just ready to move it on to the next game of the series. Lundred will only have one bear as well. Good. Secret. Good. Don't go Roche. Don't go Roche, man. End the game. Ah, now you said it. I think they might be hanging on. It's, well, it's going to be up pretty soon. Come on, man. <laughs> they're playing it safe. They're chilling. One minute till Roche respawn. They know that they're, they're comfortable. They can, they can play it safe. MKB finished for Miracle now as well, so Solar Crest not going to do a whole lot of good when they try and keep that mid one Medusa alive. Fadeless from a Tumba Man, all the physical damage in the world. Yeah. Anyone who jumps on will be dead. Liquid getting a lot of items, and Secret is not. Yeah, that axe still quite, yeah, quite far away from Yeah, buy back there costs quite a lot. I mean, probably the game will be over in three minutes. That's quite a precise prediction. We'll see if you're right. They're seconds. not even going Roche. No, they're ready to Look close it this. up sooner than that. Oh, jump in. Matsuma Man gets Yapso in a couple of slaps. He's down. Miracle jumps on the side of it. He's looking towards Ace. Wow. Ace trying to get out of there, but the Sound of Teaser Eclipse takes him down. Secret lose three. Mid one pops the Stone Gauge, but they don't care. They'll stick around. GG is called, and Liquid take game one. And I tell you what, that, it didn't really feel that close at all, this one. No, it didn't. I mean, it was a lot on that tiny just going ham with the dagger. Yeah, that bottom lane was just, it was an absolute disaster, wasn't it? Aggression. Yeah. Fine and a bad and it just did not work out at all. And what stats did they have? 0, 7, 2. Oh, that's not what you want to see on your offlaner. A very rough game. Very. Indeed, for Secret. I mean, game to how do you, how, how do you sort of change it up if you're Secret coming into the next game? Is there any sort of hero you want to take away from Liquid? Do you have to make sure that they don't get this tiny Io? Do you think we'll see one of those heroes banned out in the first phase? I would just ban his Wisp. Yeah. It seems to be the key hero for Liquid. But, I mean, they're good on uh, quite a lot of heroes, I guess. True. They are very versatile uh, with their picks. But, yeah, the GHI are definitely the one that you, you've got to question if you're letting it through how on earth you're going to deal with it. And, I feel like the, the, one of the biggest lackings for Secret was the fact that they just, oh. Sorry. Just Sorry. Watch, watching you do that, it just. It was very refreshing. <laughs> just had to take one. Very refreshing. There <laughs> we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back for game two. Any, any words of encouragement for Secret after getting beat that hard? I want to see Fada Furion. Fada Furion. Rank 68. But it's still pretty good. Rank 68 out of all the Furions in the world. Yeah, still pretty good. Pretty good. Will it be good enough? We'll see. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We will be back for game two after the break. Liquid taking the lead against Secret at the moment. 1-0. We'll be back for game two.